Hello, here is Libby Walker. I hope you're doing well. Welcome back to my channel. Today we are inside Mitsubishi Pajero uh, 3.5 liter from 1996. And this video is an uh, answer uh, for a request from one of you who asked about this variable suspension system which is in this car. So I think it's a great topic. So if you are interested how the system works and actually what is the shock absorber, the damper, what are the differences, how they, you know, achieved such uh, things and what conditions, in what condition you should use the soft, the medium or the hard suspension uh, level damping force, please stay tuned and we will start in a moment. Okay, so as you can see in this Pajero, this indicator on the dashboard shows you which mode is now enabled and by the default if you start the engine, you start from the medium settings, the medium uh, hardness, the medium uh, settings which is basically used for everyday driving on the road, uh, but we will go forward to the modes and how they, you know, are applicable in a real life, but at the first you know basic uh, I will show you how to change those modes so basically here you got the settings if you press S which means soft settings and you will take a look and here you will see that the indicator momentarily changes into soft then if you press this medium position of the switch so uh, soft and hard are a little bit you know above the surface this is the medium settings as we have a moment ago and if you press hard you got the hard settings. So basically, this is how you operate those systems. You can do it while driving. You don't need to stop uh, any on the, uh, anything like this because everything is done by the electronic uh, electric motor inside the dampers, and they, you know, change the position in this place where the oil go through the device. Okay, so I have uh, disabled the, I have stopped the engine and now I think it's a good place to discuss basically what is shock absorber in a, any, every, every car, any car you have because most, most of the car has one, you know, characteristics of the shock absorbers, the damping force which is inside and if you drive a car you probably have seen if you watch some reviews of the car and the people inside said this car has very hard suspension this car has a very soft suspension so this car is a sport car which is hard suspension which is you know significant to be a hard suspension in sport car and then another car you see oh this is off-road car but good very comfortable soft suspension but what does it mean exactly and now i will try to explain you by some examples so basically you know the car has a suspension system which which the main purpose of the suspension system is to you know uh, absorb the shock so if there is a hole unevenness on the road uh, the wheel has a spring of course the, the basic builds on any suspension system is the spring the very big spring if you take a look under the car you will find a very big spring but what happened if you squeeze the spring on a moment it starts to you know bump and bounce 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 until it stops so if you have a, a car if you if you have a car only with the springs as the suspension system without the dampers you will feel the bouncing on every hole on the on the road so you basically will be bumping all the time so this is why the uh, the springs which actually absorbs the shocks there are the the heart the core of shock absorber system so the, uh, above the spring uh, or with the spring the whole system set sets uh, consists for of spring and the damper and the damper is a device uh, hydraulic device uh, so inside there is an oil and the moving you know piston and it actually um, modulates the this bouncing this this uh, this this result of absorbing shock for from the surface or, or the condition you are driving so basically if you are in soft settings of the damping system if your car is so great big and it's have a different characteristic because in Pajero you could actually change the 
characteristics of the suspension. So you got soft suspension, medium suspension, and hard suspension. And I will show you the differences between the, the hardest and the, the softness. And the medium is something in between, so it's a you know average from uh, hard and soft. So basically, if you have the spring and you have the settings called soft of absorbing. So the damping force is low. I mean, this piston has less friction, so it moves and it, uh, you know, modulates, suspends um, this um, this shock slower. So this damping process is going slower, and it it could be, you know, um, illustrated like this. So you get the shock. And you bang, bang, bang. The soft suspension had made more oscillators until it comes down and be solid again. And another, you know, obstacle, bang, bang, bang. The springs and it holds still because you need to damp any shock. Of course, the the, the spring itself will, you know, uh, come down for a moment, but it's very uh dangerous to the to the condition because if you are bouncing you you, you don't have a control over a car so it's a, uh, it's the way why a sport car needs to have very hard suspension they are running on flat surfaces mostly and they have hard suspension because in the turns they holding the road there is no this bouncing of course but you know it's not good for a rough road but let's continue so if you have a, this soft this there will be more oscillating until the damper stops and you know come down the the sh the shock absorber system as a whole so the springs and the damper and the shock absorber you you you, you should consider it as a sh as a spring and the damper which holds this uh, spring in a stable position okay so what happened if you have hard suspension if you have hard suspension the friction is very high it's higher than in soft suspension so if you have an obstacle the springs will you know co uh, shrink or expand there's in any each each damper there are cycles called the expansion called the compression cycle so uh so in the soft they will be bouncing bang, bang, until it stops and in hard suspension there will be something like this so two or more oscillates and it stops because it damps, it's uh, you know trying to uh, to reach the the level zero to be stable as soon as possible. So this is hard suspension, and how it you know feels on a road. So basically, soft suspension is used when you drive on a, a rough road because if the if there is a situation where there is no shock absorber in a car you will feel every shock on your car if you are sitting on the steering wheel so everything will be shaking and very hard suspension has such a you know feeling so you feel every hole on your <laughs> seat okay and the, everything is shaking inside the car you you feeling that the car is you know feeling all the surface and if you have soft suspension you have a lot of you have much more comfortable situation to the passenger or to the driver because all those you know unevenness are damped by the shock absorber and you know the the, the springs holds it and you know calm down everything so you may be asking why uh, if the soft suspension is comfortable and you don't feel the rough road so why do not uh, make every car uh, with very very soft suspension as i said a few seconds ago if you have very soft suspension it is unpredictable for steering car especially if you're driving a fast turns if you're driving on the roundabout you will feel that the car is tilting actually it's tilting because this because if you're driving the momentum will you know try to get the car out of the road so if you are driving on highways if you are driving on a roundabout it's good to have a hard suspensions because this tilting is very uncomfortable for you you you, you feel that you don't have a control over the car and then uh, also you 
uh, feel that the car could collapse even okay so and if you are bouncing 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 you also don't have a very good control over the car uh, itself because you know if you want to have a super smooth control of a car like in super sport car you need to have very hard suspension so the car producers usually try to find a compromise between the soft suspension and hard suspension and as i said hard suspension for flat roads high speed turns uh, with curvation because you will need have this you know super super rough control over the car the in the second way the the the, 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 op the opposite situation the soft suspension is in the cars when you're going on rough roads uh, a lot of friction from the ground surface so stones holes everything like this if you're going off-road you also want to have the soft suspension so uh, because it is sometimes difficult to decide uh, which um, characteristic of the suspension should be in your car in the Mitsubishi Pajero they, they decide that because this car is off-road car and also it's a car for driving uh, on uh, hard roads so they have decided to put this three position switch so soft medium and hard and actually uh, it could give you a control over the suspension system so if you need soft suspension you're switching to soft if you need hard you're switching to to hard and actually it works great i think i if i'm if i started using it at the beginning and uh, so if i go to off-road and going completely out of the public roads i switch to uh soft and i got this soft smooth movement because all this unevenness on the road has been nicely you know bang 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 by this uh shock absorber system with the damper with the soft damper and in the other way uh, i i started to driving all the time on the soft but i have feel on the roundabouts that the car is you know tilting tilting and oh my god i will collapse so i need to switch to hard or medium and this is basically how i'm using it if i'm driving to city if i'm driving on a highway i switch to hard uh also the car is you know less bouncing less tendency to bounce on any even if you are using the braking pedal and you have a soft suspension you will feel that the car you know give a and go back if you have a soft suspension this movement is much faster much more you know uh flat let's see okay so and uh, the last thing because i started to wonder how did they build this system and the answer is uh, that these dampers are hydraulic as i said there is a piston but this piston pushes an oil but this um piston usually is a, a metal plate with uh, with holes it's not a solid it has holes and it's like a strainer so basically if you switch the mode there are three types of those holes the bigger holes are used for soft uh, settings and if the holes are big the oil has you know uh, the time when the oil go through this um this this metal plate is longer the friction is and the resistance is less so it moves you know lightly i mean more oscillations needs to be done before we stop and if you switch to hard these holes are tiny uh, almost you know without holes i mean they are very uh, they give a lot of friction the, the resistance is very big you can compare it uh, to you know uh shaking a hand uh on the air or shaking a hand on the water of course the water have bigger density so it's harder to move a hand uh under the water than over the gas environment in air in general so basically this is how they build it there is a motor uh electric engine which uh you know rotates this plate and it's like you know if you have a shower and it has a different programs to you know how the this water f go through this uh, this um, this shower uh, holding you, you get in, in in your bathroom so basically here is the similar situation it rotates 
under the changing the settings so there is an uh, electron uh, electric motor which rotates this in free this free position and after a few seconds you feel the difference in the suspension characteristic so of course mitsubishi is not the only car producer which introduces such a you know thing uh, but now only this uh, range rover i think has this hydraulic super adaptive uh, suspension system so in the modern cars uh, with very uh, luxury and expensive systems, uh, comfort systems, uh, those are, you know, um, regulated and controlled by the electronic itself. Uh, so the car has, a, you know, um, sensors and it feels that you are going on a shaky road. So let's change to soft suspension. And, and if you are starting speeding up and you are going on a highway, the computer detects that you are going very fast. So let's switch to the hard suspension system. In Pajero, everything is in control of the driver, as you can see in my previous video about what is great in such old cars where you have all this uh, you know things under your hand so you switch the uh, rear differential lock you enable the central differential locking you enabling four-wheel drive etc so basically it all uh, this old cars you have in control of everything so uh, I think it's all for now if you have any questions I'm not a super expert in mechanic of the cars but I'm an engineer and I and sometimes I'm trying to you know go deep into the topic and find out how did how did they build it and how to use it in my own experience in some readings etc so if you are interested in my channel more topic about this car or some technical things just let, give me a comment below the video so thanks for watching it was BB Walker good luck <laughs>